day one of the fan fiction sideshow. Cupcakes by Sergeant Sprinkles, the world's greatest car- party clown. Edited by Eden Pony. Warning, this fan fiction is incredibly gory and may ruin your impression of a certain My Little Pony character as well as a tender baked good. Read at your own risk. The air was warm, the sun was shining, and every pony in Ponyville was having a glorious day. The town square was bustling and crowded, and busy ponies filled the streets. All the pony folks seemed to have somewhere in the Pacific to be, all except the Rainbow Dash. Her place was in the sky. She tore freely through the air, speeding one way and the next, buzzing treetops and racing the wind. The blue pegasus swooped over the schoolyard, much to the delight of children, then climbed several hundred feet and dove, streaking downward as fast as she could. Seconds before fitting hitting the ground, her wings flew open and she pulled back into the clear blue. Rainbow felt alive. Suddenly, Dash remembered she had somewhere to be. She was supposed to meet Pinkie Pie in five minutes. Dash had got so caught up in her exercises that she had nearly forgotten that Pinkie Pie had asked her to be meet her at Sugar Corner at three. Pinkie hadn't said why or what they'd be doing, but Dash knew it knew what Pinkie Pie knew that with Pinkie Pie it could be anything. Dash wasn't really sure what, wasn't sure if she really wanted to go, though she was so engaged with her stunts that she thought her about blowing Pinkie off and continuing to fly. But Dash's conscience got the better of her. She knew that it would hurt Pinkie Pie's feeling after all. Pinkie had said that it was going to be something special just for the two of them. Dash considered it and thought, why not? Why did what did she have to live? Heck, it might be more pranking. Pinky might have found a bunch more fun stuff to pull off. And they have so much t- so and they had so much fun the last time, Dash kicked into overdrive and made up for the lost time. She sped to her appointment. When Dash walked into the store, she was immediately greeted by her host, who was bouncing in excitement. Yay, you're here! I've been waiting all day, said the jumping pony. Sorry if I'm a little late, Pinkie Pie. I was doing my afternoon exercises and got lost track of time. Dash apologized. Pinkie jibbled and responded in an in gleefully reassuring tone. Oh, that's okay. You're here now. What's a few more minutes? I've been waiting. I've been so excited thinking about all the fun stuff we're going to do. I haven't stopped bouncing since I woke up. I mean, I forgot to breathe. I'm just so happy. Dad gave a slightly uncomfortable laugh. She always appreciated Pinkie Pie's friendly... I lost my place. Pinkie Pie's friendly, outgoing way of life, but Pinkie Pie abundant enthusiasm owns creeped her. Dash maintained a polite expression. However, if Pinkie Pie was, was this worked up, whatever she had planned must be good. So, you're ready to get started, Rainbow Dash? Oh, I'm using the wrong voice here. So, you're ready to get started, Rainbow Dash? I got everything all ready, the pink pony said. Dash psyched herself up. You betcha, Pinkie Pie. So, do you, what do you got planned? We gonna pull a prank on somebody? I got a couple of good ones I've been thinking about. Or maybe you just got some stunts you wanna try out. Or perhaps, making cupcakes! Pinky happily announced. Baking? Dash was disappointed. Pinky, you know I'm not very good at baking. Remember the last time? Oh, that's no problem at all. I only need your help making them. I'll do most of the work. Dash stopped for a second. Well, alright. I guess that's okay. What exactly do you have? What do you need me to do? That's the spirit. Here you go. Pinky Pie handed Dash a cupcake. Dash was puzzled. I thought you were... I was helping you bake. You will be. I just made this one. I just... I'm getting so effed up right here. You will be. I made this one just for you. Before you, you got here. Oh my god. Okay. You will be. I made this one just for you before you got here. 
so is this like taste testing or something? Sorta, Pinky said. Dash shrugged and popped the pastry in her mouth. She chewed a bit and swallowed. Not bad. Okay, now what? Dash asked. Now, Pinky informed her, you take a nap. Puzzled, Dash opened her mouth but felt instantly lightheaded. A wave of Disney washed over her. The world spun. Seconds later, she had collapsed on the floor.